G'day guys, how the hell are ya? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video on Kind of A. Now guys, in this video today, I'm gonna be showing you my entire Simpson Funko Pop collection. Let's get into it. guys so in this video I'm going to be showing you all of my Simpsons Funko Pops so I actually currently have 21 in my collection so I'm going to be showing you those ones as well as the ones that I don't have I have about 21 of these figures and I'm missing a couple about five or so so pretty much all of them which is which is cool but guys something important before I get into this video I would like to say a massive thank you for everybody who has actually subscribed to the channel about 103 subscribers now, so I just really really appreciate the support. Don't think I forgot About the giveaway. It's gonna happen. Give me a couple of days and I shall have a winner selected and I shall put a video up So everybody knows if they've won or if they've if they've lost Sorry, for so I'm gonna go from the oldest ones all the way to the newest ones Of course the ones in front of you currently I do not have because they're the original Simpsons and I wasn't collecting pops at the time and don't really feel like spending like uh, 1.5k on it. I'm good, man. That's that's too damn dear. I know Top Pops just bought one for like 400 fucking dollars, and not nah, man, not nah, doing that. All right, guys. So number 496 in the Pop Television line, we have Radioactive Man, which is the Simpson comic book that Bart Simpson tends to read. A little bit way too much. I wish he paid more attention to his schoolwork rather than, ah, oh, nah, bugger it, read the comics, they'll get you more further in life than this. But, um, yeah, simple pose, you know, he's doing his hero sort of thing with his arms up here showing off those muscles. But, um, yeah, Radioactive Man. This is the first Funko Pop in the new wave, well, the second new wave of The Simpsons. So this is what started the... The newer Simpson line, this was the very first one. Other than the original Homer, Bart, Marge, and Krusty, this is, well, technically the fifth Simpson Funko Pop ever. All right, guys, so on my number two spot, at 497, we have Lisa Simpson with the saxophone. So, first of all, I'm glad that they finally made a Lisa. For those people who actually own an original Homer and a Marge, and I guess a Bart, they can add Lee. Why did they make a Marge, but they didn't make a Lisa? I can understand the damn baby, well, Maggie, but why wouldn't they make Lisa if they made... Li uh, fucking Krusty's in there. Why would they make Krusty, but not, ma but not make the entire Simpson way? I don't get that. Was that a licensing issue or not? But there's Lisa with her saxophone, if you can see it with the glare. So, guys, on my number three spot at 498. We have Maggie Simpson. So there's not a whole lot going with this. Clearly she's in her little blue outfit that she seems just to be trapped in constantly. She's got her blue bow and her dummy, but whatever Americans call them. I think they call them binkies or some shit, but that's a dummy for those. Well, yeah, if people think it's a binky, they really are a dummy. But yeah, pretty cool. Actually, most of this first newer wave of the Simpsons Pops I actually bought over from Sanity. And if you guys don't know what Sanity is, it's um, pretty much a video and DVD store. So they get some Pops in, but they were having a clearance so they could get some new Pops in. And most of these guys were only nine bucks. Pretty good. So at number 499, on my number four spot, we have Grandpa Simpson, also, also known as Abe Raham Simpson. He's got his little pop belly there, as you can see. He's got his, um, I can't, you've got his slippers on. I don't know how well you can see that, but he's got his slippers. He's got his glasses. He's even got the wrinkles on his forehead, but these pops obviously can't be as detailed as a lot of the other ones, like the actual people ones, because they're animated. It's, it's a lot more difficult, but... This is Abraham Simpson, or Abe Simpson, or Grandpa Simpson, as a lot of people call it. Or just Grandpa. Grandpa will do. But that is a pretty cool pop. So guys, on number 500, which is my number 5th spot, we have Mo Sislak, the bartender. One of my literal favourite Simpson characters of all time. The suicidal, 
complete mess of a person bartender. So he's got his arms crossed, his eyes slit, his, um, his pig nose, which is what a lot of people, you know, reference him as being ugly about, but I think it's actually kind of hot. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I had to throw the gay humour in there, but no, this is a pretty cool pop. He's got his bartending thing that, um, I'm going to play this clip. You want to smell my flower? Do I? Oh, 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 I'm burning up here. Oh, 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 taking advantage of my alcohol-soaked clothes. Oh, 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 it's funny, and it makes you think. That Barney somehow sets on fire with a light when they were trying to prank Mo, and then Homer ended up getting kicked out of the bar. But anyway, it's because it's stained with alcohol or something. But that, um, yeah, pretty cool pop. Mo Sislak. I love The Simpsons, man. It's just incredible where they come up with the names and all of these... You know, different... I, I love it. Simpson, doing a great job. So on my number six spot, at 501, we have Mr. Burns. And the cool thing about this Funko Pop is he's doing that excellent, you know, the evil sort of thing. But on the back, maybe that gets a bit easier, but he's got his old man haircut. I guess I might as well show off the boxes too. There's the back of the Wave 1. There's just the side of the box where Mr. Burns is written. These are all in protectors. Well, the new, old, uh, the new, older ones, older ones. The older ones are in protectors. But, um, pretty simple pose. He's in his typical uniform. I would love to have a Waylon Smithers or just Smithers to go with this guy because you know he's kind of gay. All right, guys. So on my number seven spot, we have Homer Moo Moo number five hundred and two in the line. This is, was actually a hot topic exclusive, but since I am actually in Australia. We get all of the exclusive, no matter what retailer they're from, except for like, I think Toy Tokyo, they still come with their stickers and they don't ship here, but there is the typical shitty special edition sticker, which literally nobody likes, except for those US people who think they're kind of cool, but no one likes them here. We want US stickers, please, Funko. On my number eight spot, we have El Bato. Wait. It's Bartman. Okay, this is when he's... I might as well show you. This is his superhero, I believe, he created. Is it a superhero or a villain? I think it's from... I don't remember the episode too well, but it's Bartman. I, it may have even been in a comic book. I know him in Millhouse. I don't know. It could have been a movie, could have been a comic book in the show, but... I don't 100% remember. But this is number 503 in the spot. Pretty cool. He's got his, like arms out like he's about to fight somebody. I don't know, maybe them Jimbo Jones. So guys, we're actually getting into a couple of the exclusives of this set. We have next, at a completely different spot, at 774. This is my ninth Simpson Funko Pop in order. This one actually has the Funko Shop exclusive sticker because I bought it from the Funko Shop. No shit, Sherlock. But it's him in his prison outfit. I'm trying to work it. That's the rake in there that he's holding that he always seems to step on and makes that weird noise. <laughs> Play the... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> but yeah, Sideshow Bob with the rake. And a tissue? So one that I'm actually missing out of this set, which I can't think of the number, but it is actually Ralph Wiggum. Now this was him eating paste. I think, I, I, I think he eats paste in a lot of Simpson episodes, but there's one particular scene which I will play of him just downing down some paste, I suppose. Ralph, are you eating your paste? No, it's over. Good. I guess, you know, you do you, man, but... You know what? I think we all ate paste as a kid. So, on my number... Uh, technically, it's... Technically, it's number 10, really 11, but I don't have Ralph. But this is Millhouse, which is the Emerald City Comic Con... No, it is Emerald City. It's just a spring convention exclusive here. This is Millhouse dropping his ice cream cone. <laughs> onto his foot, the poor bastard. I actually picked this up at a Supernova event from the Pop Culture booth, which is kind of cool. Came with just the regular shared edition sticker, but 
pretty cool Funko Pop. This is one that I really do think will eventually climb up in value. So I'm not going to do the numbers anymore. It's actually starting to really piss me off. But we have 832 Comic Book Guy putting the comic book in the sleeve. I don't want to talk too much. He's got his belly exposed because he's a fat ass and he's got his ponytail. You can't exactly see that, but it is there. I promise you it is there. But this was the full convention exclusive, which I believe was New York Comic Con. Absolutely awesome figure. One of my favorites and uh, definitely another one that will rise in value as time comes. What can I ding dong diddly do for you? That's it. We have Ned Flanders, which is 833 in the newer wave. This this starts off the new wave. Special edition sticker, pretty shit, but it's him waving with his left hand. It is left hand because, you know, he owns the left Dorium, you know, all that crap happened. Homer had it shut down and then it reopened because Homer decided to be a nice guy to him for once. Pretty cool figure, he's got his glasses on. It's, it's, it's Ned Flanders. All right, so another one of my favorites. At 899, we have Chief Wiggum with the coffee and the donut, as well as his police hat. Pretty cool Funko Pop. There is the back of the newer wave. I am sorry if I did not show that. But yeah, pretty cool Funko Pop. This is the start of the common wave, as you can see there. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. Now, another one that I actually don't have at 900 in the television line is actually Gangster Bart, which is when he joins Fat Tony's gang with his little blue suit, with his, you know, his top shit, so he's sliding off to the side of it. He's kind of, he's kind of rad, but I've got to pick that up eventually, but I do not have it in my collection currently. Here's the big boss. We've got Barney with his beer from Moe's. He looks a bit pissed in this, but you know what? That's old Barney for you. One of Homer's best mates and drinking buddies. Pretty cool. Got his typical Simpson outfit on, like the typical outfit he wears in The Simpsons. He's got his chest hair. And yeah, that beer looks um pretty good right about now. Maybe after this video, I might just have to help myself to one of those beers. Oh yeah, Duffman is here to refill your beer. Oh yeah. Duff man. It's cool. He's a big muscly man that really doesn't like his job, but he puts it on the show because he gets good money. But yeah, pretty cool figure. He's got his white shoes, or boots, sorry, white boots, sunglasses and a cap. Turned out really cool. Love that figure. Number 903 and 904, we have Itchy and Scratchy which is pretty much the cartoon that the Simpson kids watch of the cat and the mouse beating the absolute shit out of each other. And this poor old bastard half the time getting killed. But um, yeah, itchy and scratchy. One's got a hammer. You can't see it in the box, but there it is on the side. And the god, um, goddamn itchy has a baseball bat. Realistically, I'd choose this guy, but if you're going for betting, this guy's always going to come on top. So you know what? That's an easy bet between those two. Pretty cool looking figures. <laughs> Guys, I promise you, we're nearly at the end. USA! Homer. This is when Ned takes him to, I think it's Jerusalem, to see the original temple or worshipping place but anyway Homer's just being a complete dick walking around taking photos you know not taking part of bible studies whatsoever with old Ned and and, and actually Jimbo's in there too but um and as well as the old lady Skinner's mum Agnes Agnes is a place in Australia but yeah, he's got his camera, he's got his USA shirt. He, he's literally just a tourist. You can just, I love that about this. It, it, it's a typical American tourist. We get them, well, at least we used to before lockdown happened. We used to get Americans like this constantly coming to Harvey Bay and you could just tell that they were American because they would literally wear a USA hat. And yeah, it's, that's typical. But Love it. So guys, another one that I don't actually happen to have in my collection is the Lard Lad, 
which is essentially just the billboard or the mascot for Lard Lad Donuts in The Simpsons. It's a six inch, it's kind of cool. I don't want it because I don't have enough room for six inches and... <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I don't have enough room for six inch pops. There you go. So another exclusive we've got is Otto Man, the guy who absolutely just kills it in this show. He's smoking his dope, you know, he's, he's jamming out to that music on there, but I don't, again, I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe if I turn it around a little bit, it's really hard with that exclusive stick. He's got his um hat on, his earphones on, he's got his big old bushy hair, his, his, oh, maybe I'll just show the side of the box. He's got his bracelet on, but he's just vibing out pretty much. He's a sick lad. This guy's um a bit of a bloody legend, to be honest. No one gives him enough credit in this. I, I love this guy. He's cool. The guy's 910 in the spot. We have Call Mr. Plough. That's my name. That's something, something, Mr. Plough. Call Mr. Plough. That's my name. That name again is Mr. Plough. Yeah. There is Homer in his Mr. Plough jacket. I won't take this out of the box because I don't really feel like... It took so long to put them all back in last time, but... He's got his Mr. Plow written on the back of his jacket. This is when him and the Plow King, also known as Barney, which I would love to see in his outfit, pretty much are in competition plowing fucking snow out of all things. But Homer buys a plow truck and it all goes from there. Really cool episode. If you're a fan of The Simpsons, this will definitely be one of the episodes that you really remember. And I'm just so glad that they made this into a Funko Pop. So guys, another one that I can't exactly remember what number it is, but it is Bart Deck Gaming, which was, you know, an exclusive here, but an exclusive to GameStop over in the US. Pretty cool Funko Pop. Um, it's him sitting... It reminds me a lot of the gaming Mickey and Minis and all of that when they used to do that. And like, it's a part of that little category of gaming, gaming pops, I guess, that Funko did. Guys, on my very last pop... We have from this brand new Comic-Con, which was, I don't remember. It was from Fun Days in the America, but this is Belly Dancer Homer. I cannot, for the life of me, remember what this guy is from. The only thing that rings a bell is when Homer starts belly dancing with that bloody princess stripper chick. And then it goes in the newspaper and he's put to shame. But that was at a Christmas party for his work or something like that, or a... Something like that. But anyway, that is Belly Dancer Homer. This was the only Funko Pop I wanted from this con at the moment, but pretty cool figure. And overall, I like it. All right, guys, so that concludes my Simpson Funko Pop collection. If you guys like what you see, comment something down below, give the damn video a like, maybe even share it, I don't know. But anyway, guys, this has been another video on Kind A. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.